homemade keto pizza, or maybe it's just an omelet. Coming up after this. Oh, it's hot. Okay, so when I was ordering keto pizzas from Pizza Pizza, I had noticed that they basically they were really eggy. The the unbun keto crust. So I thought, why not make it my own? Why not make my own? However, I mean, this this is six eggs whisked, put it in some, with some olive oil into the dish. And then I put the cheese on. I cooked it a little bit. Then I put the cheese on top, baked it in the oven. I was going to put the salsa on. It. This, is, this is a Mexican dinner, isn't it? I was gonna put the salsa on and that hot salsa. I mean, I've done it before. I've used salsa to cook eggs in, which is pretty good. If you have you ever boiled eggs in salsa, it's pretty good. That's what I should have done instead. Anyway, I don't know, it's not like this hasn't been boiled already. I'm thinking, oh I'll keep the tomatoes raw. Do you lick off the lid? I did clean off the whole container though. These are COVID times. This is all organic and it's cheaper than buying the pizza. So, and it's a lot more food too. Six eggs, a whole block of cheese. It's a small block of cheese, but it is a whole block of cheese. And I'm probably going to eat the whole jar of salsa with it. I'm gonna take a, a bite of this and see. I also was nibbling on the cheese while I was cutting it. Oh, that was a big piece of cheese. Okay. It smelled like pizza when I made it. It's like a lot of cheese on top, so it doesn't even need the salsa. It tastes really good. I'd say it's more enjoyable. I really like eggs though, so. I have to eat this whole thing. I think that eating this whole thing of salsa takes me over keto carbohydrates though. I don't know. It's hard to care right now. Oh no, I'm almost all done the omelet. I've hardly had any salsa. I didn't put any salt in the eggs, which I normally would do. Himalayan sea salt. Because I knew <clears throat> that the cheese would be salty enough. Okay, here's the thing that's going on with the COVID. People wear the masks and everything. But, which is supposed to stop the breathing. But I see people passing each other stuff all the time where they put it down. Somebody has something. They put it down. They let somebody else come and get it. Like it happens at transactions in stores. Cashiers have to scan through your stuff. You're breathing on the item. It's the same. It's the same thing. I guess. You're not breathing in. The settled. Virus on the package. You're touching it. It's 
This is insane. Today was the first day that a lot of stores opened up in Ontario. And I got a little carried away and went to some. I didn't buy anything much or anything. The lines are still ridiculous. The announcements going on overhead, all the people with their masks, it's just so surreal to me. It's like a Black Mirror episode. It really, really is. It makes me think, like, I don't want to do it. It doesn't make me think I don't want to do it. It's, it's like the lineups are long and it's tedious and it's annoying. It makes me think that we're going to have a new world where people aren't going to go outside. And they're all going to be afraid to be in contact with one another. And then there's going to be those rebel few. Who go out or there's going to be, there's going to happen for a long period of time. And then one day there's going to be this one person that says, I'm going to, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to, I'm going to hug somebody. I'm going to make a good love story. Two people. They're in different circles. They're not allowed to touch each other. And they know, because they're told their whole entire life, if they touch that other person, they're gonna get really sick and die. And they also have to leave their own family because they'll contaminate them. But then they go and they do it anyway, and nothing happens. While this is all happening, it's making me think that we shouldn't really be doing anything different. We should, we should be doing what we normally do. Like we should Maybe wash our hands before we eat. Everything isn't dirty. Everything doesn't have the germs on it. They're not germs, they're a virus. A virus, I said this in another video, virus isn't a living thing. It's crazy. It's just like a callot cyst for mutation. And mutations are kind of a good thing. Mutations are about trial and error. to make something work. I mean, I have a lot of salsa. I eat too much food. I am gonna start doing yoga, I think, again. And I realized, I looked online, and there's so many yoga classes. I don't know why I didn't do that before. I don't know why I would even pay for a yoga membership. I 
I can do it in my backyard. I can do it naked. I can do it naked in my backyard. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably start doing it. I think three days ago I had planned to start doing it, and we still haven't done it yet. I'm going to set aside 45 minutes for that, maybe an hour. I'm going to do a really long one, but maybe I shouldn't do a really long one because I'm getting back into it. Anyway, I don't care that it's the same or monotonous. And then I'm going to learn the sequence so I'm, I don't forget it. And then I won't even need the video anymore. And I'll just do it outside this summer. There, I finished the salsa like that. I have to get a spoon though and make sure that I don't waste any of this, but I scrape it all off real good. So, anyway, that's my COVID update. And this was intermittent fasting. This was Oh, it's seven o'clock. This was the first thing that I ate today. I'm, real, I'm still hungry though. I was gonna fast, maybe shrink my stomach a little bit because ooh, this is really, really ridiculous. All right, I have to blow my nose. I gotta do laundry. There wasn't enough hours in the day before. There's not enough hours in the day now. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I love you. It's really nice, especially if you've watched me eat and this whole thing. You know I love you.